Good evening and welcome back to our Saturday night movie nights. The time of week that we sit back, relax, and watch another spooky, scary movie. I had a lot going on last week, so pardon the disruption in my movies, but I am back and ready to keep on rolling. I will have a Saturday night movie night every Saturday, headed all the way up to Halloween. This week's movie of the week is none other than the Nightmare on Elm Street remake from 2010. If you are watching this on YouTube, you know the drill. Go ahead, hit that subscribe bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos. I tend to do these spooky, scary movies all summer, October long, going to Halloween. It's a get ready with me and chit chat and movie talk sort of deal. I am a hairstylist and I specialize in hair, beauty, those sort of related things, but again, I like to keep it nice and spooky here because I'm a big lover of Halloween. Let's go ahead and roll in with the spooky. So again, I filmed me putting my bath bomb in and yeah, went to upload it on Instagram. I think I did upload it, but lost <laughs> the uh, video, didn't save it. So that was that, my Freddy Krueger bath bomb. So, rolling in with the 2010 remake of A Nightmare on Elm Street. So, it's pretty much kind of like a very watered-down remake, I would say. I will also preface by saying I'm not a fan of this movie. It is definitely, in my personal opinion, one of the worst remakes, uh, a horror remake, that has ever been made to be honest which is really upsetting because it's got a pretty good cast you have uh the guy who plays Rorschach in Watchmen he's a very promising actor and he's good as Freddy Krueger you have of course I love my girl um what's her face Laurel in the CW uh Katie Cassidy she is one of the first to die it's mainly, I'll say, the main girl, she's not, it's, it's not even, like, I'm sure the actress is fine. It's the whole role that they do with Nancy. They make Nancy this, like, kind of goth character, and that just does not set well with me. Also, big issues with basically saying that Freddy Krueger is a pedophile, where the originals, they more so... We knew he was. They more focused, though, on child killer sort of thing. And you knew he was a pedophile, but it wasn't, like, blatantly said as it is in the remake. And also, they make this, like, I don't know. In the original, you don't really know if he has, like, a deep connection with Nancy. We're in the remake. Like, he does. Like, it's a whole thing. So, it's a watered-down replica-ish of the original, but even, like, the filming quality, like, it's just, I had really high expectations and hopes for it, and it did just not at all, you know, meet what we were hoping. So, some fun facts about it. Not a surprise. With all that said, Wes Craven did not approve of the remake. The reality is, it's not even like he even had an opportunity. They never even asked him or presented it to him. And the thing is, without Wes Craven, I mean, obviously, <laughs> it wouldn't be a thing. There were allegedly 15 drafts or so of the screenplay and of the script. I mean, that right there should just give you, you know, red flag already. Like, if it's not coming together, yeah, it's just not going to work. So, Heather Langkamp, basically the girl who plays Nancy in the original. I'm sure I just butchered her name. I'm sorry. She was approached to, you know, have a cameo in the remake and, you know, obviously was not... So wanting to, I would have loved if they have if they had tried to have asked uh, <laughs> Johnny Depp to do a cameo. Obviously, he definitely would not. But I just think it's funny that you know he got his start in Nightmare on Elm Street. 
You know, I didn't even realize this, but now that I'm looking at this, it 100% makes sense. Another reason why this movie is just not that good. They digitally altered Freddy's voice. You, there's no need for that. I mean, Robert England, like that, I don't know. That's also a big issue that a lot of people have with the movie. I personally don't think it's just because it's not Robert England. I mean, yes, did he, you know, develop Freddy into what he is now? Yes. But I don't think it was a bad idea to have the guy from Watchmen. I mean, he's a phenomenal actor and would do a great job and he does a great job. And still, like, why digitally alter? Like, you don't need that. There is no need for that at all. That's just so ridiculous. When they were just about to release the film, because, you know, everyone was anticipating it to be just a huge success. I mean, the Elm Street, like, mega franchise, I mean, you can make a whole lot of money off of a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. But... And they had plans for sequels and maybe even making this a whole nother, like, set almost. And it was so poorly received by fans, critics, I mean, literally by opening night, that idea for the directors was just gone because it's just not a good film. I mean, it's not... The plot is very spotty. There's just so much. And it's not even like uh, if you went into this, like say you went into this without ever watching a Freddy movie, would you get something out of it? No, that's the thing. Like even as a film, just standalone by itself, it is just not a good movie. And you just, you can't do anything with that at that point. So, as far as remakes are concerned, yeah, like I said before, it is just not, not a good movie. Don't, don't waste your time. I mean, unless you're fine watching kind of crappy uh, horror films, which, I mean, that is kind of a thing for some people, but I still, even then, I wouldn't do it. I do like my Katie Cassidy, though, so I do watch things I feel like I shouldn't just because for her. God, it really sucks now that I think about it, though. She is kind of in a lot of crappy uh, horror films. They're not really the good, the ones she's in. Although I do like uh, Black Christmas from, what, 2006 or something that she's a star in. I loved that movie, watching it last year. I'll do a whole other video on that, but loved it. But what else? She's in, like, One Missed Call. The remake, that's not good. Or no, uh, When a Stranger Calls, the remake. Uh, Yeah. Poor Katie Cassidy, because something about, like, her eyes. That's the other thing, too. Something in this movie, her eyes. I don't know if it's just the way bottom eyeliner looks on her, but she looks like she is, like, about to cry the whole film. I don't know if that's just her face, like, I don't know what it is, but she just looks like she's gonna cry, but also in, like, a very sexual way. (laughs) Again, that could just be Katie Cassidy. I'm not really sure, but anyway, those are my total thoughts, feelings, everything about the remake. Let me know down in the comments, am I being too harsh? What do you think? Are there any people out there that, you know, think this movie wasn't that bad? Let me know what you think. All right. Thank you so much for watching another Saturday Night Movie Night. I hope you have a horrific, wonderful week. And I will see you next Saturday with another spooky one. And as always, stay spooky.